years ago, Warren killed a man. His name was Anthony Baroni. Just please check it out for me, please. Warren Reith deals drugs at rave parties. My son died after one of those parties. How do you know he's a dealer? I belong to a parents' group. Save our kids. Baroni was killed in a brothel on Crown Street. They took the body away, got rid of it, got rid of the gun. So you witnessed the murder, yeah? One of the other girls did. What's her name? Jodie Burns. She called herself Crystal, but I don't know where she is now. Why are you doing this to me? Anthony Baroni. Crystal, you have to tell him what you told me. I don't know what she's talking about, Detective. Gina. Oh, Gina, go away. Can you please just lost. come with me? Gina, go away. Go away from here. I'm not coming with Gina. you. Gina. Gina, here, get that inside. Come on, I'll sort it out. This is harassment. Warren, how much do you want? High maintenance, mate. Screwed up. I'm sorry. Well, he knows what you're up to now. You don't know that. He knows, Emily. Crystal! Emily! Emily! Right. You were here with your friend because she thought the dead girl could implicate Warren Reith in a murder, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's why you let her tag along. I'll lay off the Hey, don't get defensive on me, Mick. I'm just trying to sort out how things happen. Be back in a minute. It's Emily. all right. I'll have a word to the dead Emily. girl. It's my fault Crystal is dead, okay? Warren killed her because she knew about Baroni. Emily. I have to go and see if Gina's okay. I have to go there now. No, no. I'm sorry, you can't, all right? Until we question Warren about Crystal's murder. Gina saw Warren kill Baroni. What? Now that Crystal's dead, she's the only witness, Mick. She was six years old. Warren doesn't know. I don't think she even remembers. No, hang on a minute. How do you know that Gina doesn't remember? Well, she never talked about it. I don't think she even understands what she saw. You did not tell me about this. Oh, it's all pretty straightforward. She's got one in the head, close range. So let you and I go see Warren Reith, see where he was, 8.30 this morning. Is that okay by you? I'll be with you in a minute, Jack. Okay, right, take your time. You can speak to Gina after we speak to Warren, okay? Just keep her back at the gate. My name's Detective Jack Christie. What's your name? Go away! Hey, hey come on, open the, open the door. What's her name? Gina! 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 Excuse me. Gina! Gina! We just want to speak to Warren. Get lost! I'm not coming with you! Go! Gina! Gina, please! Gina! Get away from me! Emily! 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 Gina! Get away! 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 What are you doing here? Shut up. Are you Warren Reith? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, we'd like to have a talk to you down the station. Who are you? My name's Detective Christie, Sydney Water Police, all right? Listen, I'll go and have a shower and I'll be with no, you one minute. That's not a great idea. This is in relation to a shooting that occurred about an hour ago. You, you wouldn't mind just jump in the car. Yeah, yeah, hold on. What's wrong with you? What's your name? Detective Riley. Oh, Let's you get in the stupid car. little bitch. Don't touch me. Oh. Get off me! Get in, in the car. In the back. Get in the car with her. Get in the car, love. I'm not getting in the car. Thank you very much. Just hop in there. Yeah, listen, oh, yeah, if you do something useful, get rid of that pair of monkeys. They've been hanging around for weeks. Jack, I know one of them, Cynthia Rohde. She's from yeah. Sock. Save our kids. Yeah, right, yeah, the parents' pressure group that have been hassling you. Yeah. Oh, we're going Shut all right. Shut up! Okay, well, I'll take care of this happy trio while well, you go and have a talk to them, all right? Nightmare.
You know I was jogging this morning. Yeah, where? You need to know the exact route you took. Right. I went straight up Glue Point Road, right in the Folio Parade, left into Plank Street, and then all the way back home to Toxteff Road. Just three blocks away from where a woman was shot this morning. It's terrible, isn't it? Thought it was a safe neighbourhood. The victim's name was Jody Burns. Working name Crystal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen her in years. So you admit you knew Crystal? Yeah. We believe you murdered her to prevent her testifying against you. Oh, John. poor love. Testify about what? That seven years ago you shot Anthony Baroni. Well, you're wrong. That's a lot I might take off then. No, 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 no. We need you to take an examination for gunshot residue. How long is this going to take? I need a shower. Yeah, you can have one after. Come on. I'll have a glass of water. Now give me five minutes alone with the smart little bastard you cove in. You know you are so from the Stone Age. Oh, yeah, you want to see me in my mammoth skin and plate. What, have you got no sense of humour? Hey, what the people from Sock have to say? Not much. They reckon Warren's dealing drugs. They didn't see him go out this morning. How'd the interview go? Ah, uh, no good, no good. But, you know, he never asked who was murdered or why we were questioning him. You know, he waited till we told him. Yeah, I mean, he's smart enough to know we got nothing on him. He's dumb enough to be obvious about it. Look, guys, I think there's something you should know. OK, when did you find out the girl witnessed the Baroni murder? Well, not until we found Crystal dead. What are you so pissed off about, Jack? Oh, Mick, it's this case. It's all ifs and buts and maybes. It's like, it's like dancing with shadows. There's nothing to tie Warren to either one of these murders. And now it turns out there could be a witness who saw the first murder and she's only four years of age. Six years old. OK, four, six. Mick, what's it matter if we go to court? What's the difference? We're supposed to be making the running on this. Why don't you just come inside, Jack? All right. Emily is only telling you what she wants you to know when she wants you to know it. Until now, she's been our only source of information. We can't ignore her. Yeah, and I can't ignore anyone who take a six-year-old to a brothel. That was once, Jack, and she had no bloody choice. Oh, no choice? No choice? Right. OK, what's our next step? Talk to Gina? No way. I'm not having Gina going through all that again. It is safely buried in her past. Look, if we can prove that Warren killed Baroni, then we have motive for him to kill Crystal. And if he finds out that Gina is a witness, he will kill her too. If you listen to me, Emily? All right, we need to speak to Gina about the Baroni murder. Otherwise, we've got nothing. Emily, this is the best chance that you have of getting Gina back. Can you take a seat? Can she sit somewhere else? Don't want her near me. Gina. It's OK. Gina, um, what time did Warren leave this morning? I don't know. He was gone when I got up. Yeah, what, what time was that? About eight. So, do you know where he ended up going? He was jogging, just like he does every morning, OK? I want to go home. OK, look, um, we want to get this over with as soon as possible, right? First of all, I need you to look at this photograph. Now, it's not very nice. The man in this photograph is dead, OK? I need you to tell me if you've ever seen this man before. His name is Anthony Baroni. No. Be careful, you have a good look. No, I don't remember. This man, he died seven years ago. You were six years old. Okay, you were living with Emily. Remember Mrs. Kingsley? She lived next door. She used to, to look after you when I went to work. And she made you dresses. Your favourite one was the one with the polka dots. I bought sand shoes and we painted little dots on it to match your dress. Remember one day Mrs Kingsley was sick and she couldn't look after you. So you came to work with me. You were supposed to stay in the kitchen and help the cook. You said you came looking for me. You went upstairs because you thought that's where I was. You heard people yelling and a loud noise, a bang. You 
told me he saw a man on the floor. It's a man, Gina. He wasn't sick. He was dead. No. Can you tell me who else was in that room? I don't know. I don't remember. It's OK. Don't touch me! Where's Warren? I just want to go home. You can't Where stay is he? with him, Gina. He's you in the middle room. Don't tell me that she can't stay with him. Gina, no. No. Gina, please. Jack, hey, hey. What's going on? It's OK downstairs. They want Warren Reed's blood. Well, they can use my gun if they want to. No. Where are we up to with this matter? OK, uh, they had to let him go because forensics didn't find any gunpowder residue. Take away from him now. OK, well, the victim's parents have been located. Hey, 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 hey
her own mother. She will. Emily, she knows that you love her. Units outside Pier 12. Yeah, copy that. What the uh, local boys got their hands full, have they? Yeah, Gavin, the alleged drug dealer Warren Reith is reported to be involved. ETA, two minutes, over. Copy that. <laughs> You're joking. Did they break anything? Yeah, no, that's right. Warren for the top guy you've got sympathy for. Okay, I'm on my way. What? What is it? I heard you say Warren. Oh, there's just been a bit of a problem. I've got to go. Gina's okay? She's fine. All right? Okay. Mm. Mm. okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Warren Reith peddles drugs at that venue regularly. We took passive action by preventing him getting out of his car. Then he started lashing okay, out. Hang on, hang on. Was that your intention? Our aim was to stop him selling drugs. I believe we achieved this. I'm not a violent man, detective. But I tell you, it felt good to bash that animal. I wanted to keep kicking and kicking him. Look, you know you'll be charged with assault, Mr. Cook. Well, I won't contest any charges you wish to press. I believe I've done nothing wrong. Look, I want it on the record that the existing laws are useless. Worse than useless against the onslaught of illegal drugs. You know, people like us, we're not going to go away. Do you have children? <laughs> then you know what I'm talking about. Look, hey, I'm, look. I know it's hard. It's bloody hard. But I <laughs> yeah, need but you're to not know what happened to me. this morning. Look, I'm I not going to answer Mr. any Cork, more questions. I need to know. Right. I'm not going to answer anything. Okay, right. Interview suspended at 8.30 a.m. Jenny. Now, I can honestly say that she was the love of my life. Not interested, are you? I have a job to do. That's all it is, isn't it? A job. Make sure you tick all the boxes. My job is to enforce the law, OK? It's difficult. Quite often I get abused, but it's what I have to do. Damn well, look at her. The last time I saw her, she was lying on a trolley in the morgue. She'd been dead for three days. She was blue. Now, if you could stop that happening to one kid, wouldn't you do anything, anything? You know, we're just ordinary people. 
to the lowest letters. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I know you do, but they've obviously taken things out of context. They do it to everybody. Anyway, Jeff's going to go on the telly. He's going to clarify things. So as far as you're concerned, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so cheer up. Great. Take him upstairs. Yeah, sorry about being late, Sarge. You know, hospitals and all. Yeah. Call that the hospital, please. Don't yeah. worry about it. They've just finished interviewing the protesters. Protest? It's more like maniacs. No, Burnt my car, pop, bashed love. my skull. Off your pop. Come on. That was planned it on me. Oh, really? By who? Like that soccer mob. You mean sock? Eh, hey, whatever. Gee, that's terrible, mate. That's really terrible. Isn't it terrible, Jack? You blokes taking a piss or what? He's a rocket scientist. You see, Warren, we're going to charge you with possession. Then we're going to get a search warrant, we're going to go around to your house, and we're going to work out what else we're going to charge you with. Done the wild thing with M's, eh? What? She's sweet, isn't she? You have to pay for it. <laughs> no, that's right. I'm paying for it, aren't I? Hey, I'll be back. Take your time, Jack. Senior Constable Sykes will be driving you home. Thanks, Gav. Crystal's parents. Yeah, tell me what's worse, showing them the body of their dead daughter or telling her she worked as a prostitute. Well, look, it's better they hear it from you now. It's going to come out of the inquest anyway. Well, come on. Those SOK people, they've been processed. Oh, uh, yeah, they've all been bailed. Cynthia, Roddy and Glenn Cook are not to approach Reith. Also, they have to report in here at noon daily. They're for you. Crime scene of found a gun in a building rubbish skip. Right, any prints? Nothing, but it's the same calibre that killed Crystal. All right, well, we've got some murder weapon. Can we get uh, a warrant to search Reith's house? Yep. Stay right where you are. You look at her. Hey, you guys. Oh, you guys are the best. I found her like this ten minutes ago, just wandering the street. Where do you you're think my she got the drugs? Friend. I love you. Warren. Oh, Warren. Oh, Warren. I was playing. Get away from here. Yeah, I was a pain. I was. Bastard. Look at her. You look at her. You look what you've done to her. Come near her again, I will kill you. Yeah, I don't handle that stereo like that, don't oh, you? Oh, mate, I'll go with this. Well, that's all right, mate. You've got insurance, you've got insurance. Have yes, you? What are you ladies. listening to here, mate? Great beer drinking songs. Who belongs to that? Oh, wait up yourself, would you? How you going there, Jack? You found anything? All right, uh, this is what happened to Gina and Emily. Well, Gina's gone back with her mother. Hopefully, she'll straighten out. Yeah, well, that's good. Looks promising. Go back in there, mate. Okay. Whoa, hey, hey, Warren, is this where you keep your mail? <laughs> I'd say there is enough here to charge you with supply, mate. That's the first place he's looked, mate. It's the old favourite shoving it up there, but then again, subtly, it was never your strong suit, was it? Was? <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on. You think you're going to you think, you know, pin me with those pills, eh? Hey? Okay. Pretty obvious, wasn't it? He knew exactly where to look. Funny about that. And why is that, Warren? Well, you just think about it when my lawyer gets hold of you two in court, eh? How's it going to look? Detective Sergeant O'Reilly, were you shagging the defendant's ex missus? Oh, yes, I think I was. How come he knew where to look, you it's mug? Shut up, hey? Funny about shut that, isn't it? How come she just come out of my house, eh? I oh, know you're a pair of rocket scientists, are you, eh? Okay. You got nothing. Why don't you just shut your gob? You got nothing. Shut up! Nothing. You got nothing. Come on, let's go. I can't wait to hear this over and done with. Hey, Jack. I've just been talking to the DPP, mate. They say that given the circumstances, there's very little chance of a conviction against Warren Reith for supply. The presence of Emily Sadler in the house would compromise the evidence. Just telling you a bit of a nightmare, this one. Look, Emily was only trying to protect her daughter, Jeff. Right. Listen, what's the story on Mick? These allegations that he tipped Emily off about the search of the house. It's rubbish. She didn't tell her anything. Well, you seem pretty adamant about that. Yeah, because it's true. All right. Keep on top of it, mate. That was nice of you. Oh, look, we can't let this drug pushing a bit of garbage get away with this. He must have slipped up somewhere. See, Warren is so obvious. 
He can't deal drugs without it being obvious. He couldn't kill someone without that being well, he's obvious. He's gotten away too. with Baroni's murder all this time. Yeah, but there were witnesses, right? Again, he's an open book. Crystal's murder is no open book. All right, we got the gun. We got no prints. He must have been wearing gloves. That's why he agreed to the gunpowder residue test on his hands. Then he threw the gun away. And he's throwing the gloves away too. Right, I'm going to organise the search. Uh -huh. It's late. You get going. See hey, no, 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 stay. Right. This thing's better. She's uh, pretty much come down. Hey, Gina. Do you mind telling me what happened? I don't have to tell you anything. Oh, well, that's right. Gina, look, I'm not here as a police officer. I'm here as a friend, all right? I care about what happened to you. Just go away. Just, just leave me alone. Gina, just tell me what happened, OK? started asking him stuff. He just went nuts. What sort of stuff? About the woman who was murdered. About Crystal? Did your dad say anything about Crystal? He just went off his head. He said he wanted me out of the house when he got back. So you thought you'd take one of Warren's eggies? I just didn't know where I would go. It's OK, all right? Don't, don't right. touch me! Everything's going to be fine. Gina, you're home now. This is where you belong. OK? I've got to go back to Warren's. Mm. My diary, I left it. Gina, please. No! Your diary, Gina? Did you write anything about Warren in it? No, just, just stuff, private stuff. Got to go. Okay, it's late. Just stay here till the morning. Do you Touch please? me! Tomorrow we will do whatever you want. OK, just tell me what you want. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be in touch, Em. Gina, thank you for that. Okay, come on. What's going on? Time to revisit Warren Reith. Pair of rubber gloves were found last night in the vicinity of the skip. They're at Forensic. I'm heading there now. So you guys have been here all night? Yeah, most of it. Why didn't you give me a call? Huh? You? We thought you had more pressing matters. Oh, did you? Yeah, huh? Open up, police! You better get around here! He's dead.
Uh, alleged drug dealer. Media are going to be all over this one. Thought I'd better pop in and say hello. What's the story, Chopper? Uh, one stab wound through the liver. Probably last night between 10 and midnight. You got a weapon? Uh, no. No, um... No forced entry either, Chief. There's uh, signs of a struggle over here, Jeff. OK, first put a call to the SOK people. I want every I dotted and every T crossed on this one. Sure. Oh, boy. What a... Show me around. So, I suppose I'll see you tomorrow and the day after that and so on and so on and so on. That's correct. And you should know that if you don't turn up, you'll be arrested for not honouring your bail well, conditions. Really? And thrown in jail? In remand, yes. Now, this sort of thing's quite foreign to me. I hope you weren't thinking of not showing up. No, no, it's, um... Uh, well, you know, I'm not the sort of person to dob anyone in, but... Are you Are talking about Glenn here? Well, he said he wouldn't turn up today because he wanted to take his kids to the beach. Oh. I just thought he'd get a rap over the knuckles. Just... Right, uh, thanks. Glenn Cook's expressed an intention of not turning up for his bail condition. <laughs> He's over at Manly Beach. I'll send Sykes and Quinn over there to pick him up. Why would he kill Warren and then go to the beach? Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time before we caught up with him, just enjoying his life day of freedom. So. Right, uh, let's get back to the station, Jack. Mick, I want you to canvas the local houses, all right? Yes, Chief. That's it. Good boy. Glenn Cook? Oh, that's got to be a big one, Josh. <laughs> Here you go, baby. We need to talk to you, sir. Hang on tight, Danny. Good boy. Mr. Cook. OK. Talk. So do you intend reporting to the station today in compliance with your bail conditions? No, I refuse to go. And you're okay. under arrest for non-compliance. <laughs> yeah. What about the kids? They can come to the station with us. Sir, we also need to know where you were last night. Well, why should I talk to you? Mr. Cook, let's not make this any more difficult than it needs to be, OK? Hi, I'm here to see Jeff. Have a chat about tonight. Uh, you'd be Mr. Black, would you? That's right. And you'd be wanting to speak to Chief Inspector Hawker. Yes, yes. Just point me in the right direction. No, I won't. This way. Oh. Constable Janewski. How are you yeah. doing? What's Teddy done? Eh? This way, sir. Listen, we got a lot of feedback sympathising with you. Maybe you'd like to come on and be part of a panel. <laughs> no, thanks. And I'd rather not talk about it if it's all the same to you. Oh, hang on a minute. Um... Being robbing banks. Stealing honey, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Look, to be honest, I'm delighted someone killed that scumbag. Look, this has gone far enough. We just want to know where you were last night, pure and simple. All right, if you must know, I was at my mother's with the boys and the rest of the family. If you want, arrest them. Verify it. So, well, why didn't you tell the constables at the beach? For the same reason I refuse to appear for bail, because I think the laws are unjust and inadequate. No, you've just been wasting our time. The next kid who dies could be yours, Detective. Yeah, or someone else's, while the police are wasting time on people like you. Oh, hello, Mrs Parker. Could you just take a seat in there, please? Hello, Emily, it's Mick. Can you pick up the phone, please? I need to talk to you urgently. No, the more I think about it, the more I reckon we should have thrown the book at Glenn. Emily? I feel sorry for him losing his daughter like that. Oh, no, you tell me about it. I keep thinking about Sophie all the time. And what if it was her? I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Uh, Jack? Oh, this is Mrs Barker. Uh, she lives two doors up from Warren Reef. All right, the woman from the door knock. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's here to make a statement. She said that she heard a female voice screaming at about 10.30 last night. It was coming from Warren's place. Cynthia Roddy from Sock? No, she's got another way. Well, this is all really pointing in one direction, isn't it? Look, Jack, look, I called Emily at about 11 o'clock last night, OK? She didn't answer the phone. Huh? Why don't you just let me speak to her first? Alex, can you take care of Mrs. Barker, please? Jack. You know, it's happened before, Mick. You're just too close to it, mate. It's, you know, it's not the time to get all touchy-feely about it. Oh, OK, yeah. if we want to deal with it, let's get some clear out here and we'll deal with the whole... We were just coming to see you. I thought you would have figured it out by now. I want you to make some arrangements for Gina. And I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. I did it. I killed Warren. Gina was upset about her diary. Um, I wanted to put her mind at rest, so I came to get it for her. 
Right, and what time was this? Um, between 10 and 10.30. I had Gina's key, so I let myself in. I thought he was asleep. Right, now, do you want to say who that was for the camera? Thanks. Warren Reith. I mean, Warren Reith. But he surprised me. We uh, argued. I called him a murderer. He went berserk. He started pushing me around. I tried to run away. I got to the backyard about here. Right. He pushed me and I fell back on the barbecue table. The knife was there and I picked it up. Okay, so where was Gina's diary? What? In the lounge room, in the kitchen? It was in her bedroom. Whereabouts in her bedroom? It was under her bed. Look, I told you where the knife is and my fingerprints are all over it. Oh, I'm sure they are, Emily. But are your fingerprints on Gina's diary and in Gina's bedroom? Jack, I come in. Emily, I think you woke up, you saw Gina was gone, so you decided to come here and get her. By the time you got here, she killed Warren. So you decided to cover up all the angles, so you put your fingerprints on the knife. But did you think to put your fingerprints inside that house? Forensics gonna piece this together bit by bit. So let's stop the lying. Don't do this, Mick, please. Look, the most important person here is Gina, all right? She's gotta face the truth. Emily thought I was asleep, but I snuck out. I just had to get my diary. I'd written stuff about Emily, how mad I was at her. Horrible stuff. I didn't think he was home. But then what happened? I called him a murderer. <laughs> you call Warren a murderer? I remembered. Emily told me to stay downstairs, but I didn't. I was in an empty room. Then someone was coming in. They were arguing, yelling. I didn't know what to do. I hid. remembered everything. He just lost it and started hitting me. But how did you end up in the backyard? I, I was trying to get away, but he grabbed me. He had his hands around my throat. He said he was going to kill me. It's okay, Gina. Okay. Now, what happened next? I, I saw the knife. It just went in. <laughs> As a police officer and a father, I understand how bereaved parents must feel, but if you take the law into your own hands, even if you have a natural sense of justice, there can only be chaos. In civilised society, people obey the laws they respect. And if those laws aren't working, then it's up to the community to change them. The rule of law it may not be perfect, but it's all we've got. Mm. Thank you, Inspector, and we'll be back with more after the break. Hey! Why didn't you watch it? Oh, <laughs> I was nervous enough in the studio. Well, you were really good. Came across as level-headed, compassionate. Really? Yeah, really. Is that what everybody thought? I mean, you're not just saying that. No, everybody thought it. If you don't believe me, ask them. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. No. Oh, good. Yeah, oh. Thanks, Helen. The DPP believes Gina was acting in self-defence. Well, so far, so good. Yeah. Now, Emily, I'm not quite sure what's been going on between us. There's no need, Mick. 
Look, when we started out, I really had hopes for some kind of future for us, you know? I mean, it was really nice. And then... <laughs> you and me... It's just bad timing, huh? Yeah, very bad. Goodbye, Mick. Hey, uh, Jack and I are going for a drink. He's waiting if you. It's a good idea. Is he coming? No, oh, I thought you were inviting me. Yeah, well, I just, you know, I thought you and Emily would be, uh... Nothing going on there, Alex. We're just friends. OK, so you're, so you're free? <laughs> <laughs> to go for a drink, you idiot. Come, Come on, on, Mick. Yeah. Be Jack shout, wouldn't no, it? I Not if you get there first, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? I left my wallet the other side. <laughs> <laughs> uh...